So the next texture on the list we got the gradient texture so go add texture and you got right here the gradient. Connect this to the material output you got this result and it's the same result like if you're gonna use on the converter separate x y and z. I'm gonna connect a textures coordinate to the separate x y and z and connect from the x value I got the same result. This basically just represents the value from 0 to 1 uh, black and white yes color. Now, you got a bunch of options on the gradient texture. It's good to use, of course, these two procedural shaders. So, you got right here quadratic. This is basically the double of power of the linear. So, if I'm gonna just connect this separate X, Y, and Z and add right here math node very quickly and change this to power right here and add the value 2, I got the same results like from gradient texture right here. Yes, because this is basically the double power of the linear stuff. I got right here irisid. This just basically smooth the result, yes, of the quadratic. We got the diagonal or whatever it's called. Basically, uh, if you wanna use this, it's good to use this from object, from textures coordinate, yes, and you got the same result. I'm just gonna move this very quickly uh, to have this on this middle point on your surface, yes, on your plane. But if you wanna use this from UV. I'm gonna show you very quickly you just add uh, right here vector math and duplicate this vector math by shift D right here and you wanna change this of course to the uh, subtract and value 0 0.5 and right here 0 0.5 and right here the uh, value is 2 and 2 and you wanna add multiply and you got the same result like you're gonna use from object yes and you got diagonal tall, uh, spherical is the same stuff and basically the spherical shape yes it's good to use with the same values right here with the vector math subtract 0 0.5 0 0.5 and right here multiply yes and you got quadratic sphere yes you got basically very blurry sphere so it's good to add different node to sharpen these edges uh, and you got this value it's good to use this on the Spherical shapes. I hope you get it guys. This is the gradient texture. Like I said, it's good to use this to procedural stuff guys Subscribe if you like this content. Bye guys